Hey guys, it's Etch here, and today we have another episode of Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition Legacy. And again, we're back with Generation 1, Thrush, and he is here in the, right where we left off with after um, spending some time tracking down some stranger wolves and nearly getting in a fight uh, along with a mule deer, uh, along with hunting a mule deer earlier that day. So he's kind of just hanging out by the rock. And he's starting to get a little hungry again, so I think he's going to go out and find something to eat. So, if we uh, jump into set through here, there's quite a few sets coming from over there. He does want to see if he can find some uh, elk. I think he saw it spotted. Yep, there's some elk sent over here. So he's going to go wander in that direction, making sure he's not going into any other territories. And he's just going to go find something to eat. Although it seems like the trail is almost dead here. Oh, there we go. He's going to run a little bit this way. He wants to see if he can find some elk, but if he runs into some mule deer, he won't miss the opportunity. But he's not going to go specifically chasing down mule deer. He's wondering if he can... Oh, well, there we are. Well, that's a buck. I don't know if you'd want mess with that yet, especially when he's not a trained target. He doesn't want to get injured trying to fight a buck when he, um, when he thinks he has a better chance of some elk. And he wants, I feel like he wants to prove himself so he can find a mate. Um, so that's one of his goals. He's not quite having, oh, there's some, oh dear. I was gonna say, there's some elk sent over there. I was sliding down a hill. What, oh, where'd that go? There was an elk set right there, but I see more over here, so that's alright. Nine bark herd, it says. Let's see if I can get up here or not. Oh, I can hear something. And the scent is definitely picking up. Head a little bit up here. Let's see if he can find that scent. It's less than clarity, too. He's not too worried about that. Yeah, here's where the sun's picking up. So you're gonna head up here and hopefully find something to eat. Yeah, it's definitely getting close. Make sure we're not. We are starting to trespass, but I think you might consider the rich. Oh, there we are. So we just entered what pack is that? We just entered Wapiti territory? So but as long as he doesn't encounter any other wolves, I think he'd hang out here just as long as he could get a kill, but he wouldn't stick around the carcass. Oh, I thought I saw the herd up there. So he's gonna, you know, as long as he isn't going too deep as well, but he's got full health, he's not too concerned about it. It's not a herd up there either. I thought it was. So he's gonna keep on going and. He might just end up getting himself in trouble, but I think he's hungry enough that he's willing to take the risk. So he is being pretty deep. Hopefully, he's more than probably going to try to drive the herd out of their territory, but we'll see. The sense are starting to mingle here, so it's probably getting pretty close. Maybe there's a small bull elk herd too. Mule deer scent, but he's close enough to be out, he wouldn't bother. It's kind of an open plain now. I wonder if we're getting close. Looks like we just entered another, ta another tile. Yeah, we're just going to get really deep in the territory. But we're also really close to the elk herd. You can smell it. Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, I did not see that there. There is a wolf chasing us, and we're gonna get out of here. So which way do I need to head? Uh, yeah, he's not willing to start a fight. Although, it does look like there's only one of them. He's gonna try it. Because he's wondering if maybe he can succeed. trying to get out of here before he's trying to dodge the other wolf. 
There we go. Oh. Yeah, he's, um, this would probably be his first fight uh, without his pack to back his up. Back him up, so he's a bit concerned, but it's only one wolf, so he's wondering if maybe he can succeed. Oh, he got me. He got me. I mean, it is his territory. But there's some mule deer here, and Thrush is hungry. This is kind of chaotic, isn't it? I'm trying to run around and He's really wanting to fight, though. Oh, looks like he's thinking about running, though. Just gonna see if you can drive away. <laughs> Dang, that's loud. Um, he's gonna keep on trying. If you can get him on the run, then he's then he got you know he's pretty much good to go. But I mean, he is seem to be seeming to maybe he's on the run or not. Oh dang, you got me. This is a bit chaotic. Wonders, he's wondering about the mule deer are even still around. They are. They're gonna have the strength to hunt an elk, so we might have to go out there. But he's almost got him chased off, and I don't think he'd be willing to give up his near victory just yet. <laughs> Looks like he might. Nope. Because he might run off, but not quite yet. Is he running off or not? Oh, no. <laughs> Has <laughs> both evading bites at this point. There we go. <laughs> I don't think Thrush wants to kill him, but he definitely wants to chase him off. <laughs> Come on, give up, buddy. <laughs> he does admire the other wolf's persistence, but that doesn't mean he's willing to, willing to give up. Right, that one looks like he's finally on the run. Which means he can do some hunting if you can find those. Here again. Hopefully he doesn't come back with reinforcements. Here they are. I'm gonna go after one of his doe. I think he's feeling a little overconfident now that he has managed to kill off, um, or not kill off, attack one of the herd, or one of the pack, or the Wapiti pack. I think he's pretty confident in his skills now, and he's willing to take some risks even while hunting here. But, he might just turn out to bite him back in the butt. He's pretty low on health. Maybe he doesn't give up soon, he's gonna die. <laughs> but he's... Yeah, 
I think he's gonna give up at this point. He's realizing that he's low on health and he's never gonna be able to get that elk to give in or from you know, to, He's never gonna be able to kill that elk before he dies. So he's gonna book it out of their territory and probably try to find a carcass somewhere. Although he does note that there's a lot of mule deer in Wapiti territory. Yeah, sit down and get some rest. He's exhausted. And head back out. Keep on going out of the territory. Well, he wouldn't hesitate to pick up a bunny. Territory. I think he, um, he's not, he doesn't really quite regret his decision to attack that wolf or try to, try to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Or try to make it, um, try to defend his, I guess, hunting rights? I don't know. Um, I don't think he quite regrets it, he just, uh, maybe he regrets his decision to hunt afterwards, or to leave, to, um, to stay on the fight so long. I think he probably wish he had given up earlier. Especially because now, the only way he's gonna survive is to scavenge a carcass before he runs out of hunger. Or maybe on snowshoe hairs, because he can't heal up while he's, um, this hungry. Although he is out of Stranger Wolf territory now. So he's gonna start looking for a carcass. But it might be a while before he stumbles upon one. He's not too worried about that fox. And you know, then the question becomes, can he fight off for any other predators who might be interested in that carcass? I think he knows he can't take on the mule deer right now. Or actually that's a moose. Yeah, no way. There's a carcass sent over there. Spike out carcass. Any other luck with the trail? Any more elk? We're heading back into it is. I think he'd be kinda hesitant to head back into their territory at this point. He's gonna head up north. Away from all the pack craziness. He'd be a bit hesitant now to head into Stranger Wolf territory after nearly getting killed in one. <coughs> Although we did spot some out, so we might want to take note of their location now. <coughs> they definitely use something like fighting. Of course, he's heading the wrong direction. I'm not sure. I think he knows he can't hunt, but he is interested in watching. Yeah, there's definitely a fight going on there. He's gonna keep his distance, but he's gonna watch. He's inter just interested to see what would happen. <laughs> I don't want to spook him though. He's wondering, is the fight already over? It looks like it is. And there's the herd. Already spooked too. He's gonna head off from his own direction, I think. He's just looking for a carcass, which. He might be in luck, but that's just a territory marker. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's a scent post. You keep looking. More scent posts. Here, purpose looks like a deer. Come on. Probably something he killed. 
a lot of elves end up here, but none of it seems to be a carcass. No keep hiding this way. If you can find it. Uh oh. I did find a carcass, but it's protected by a bear, it looks like. Try to drive it off while keeping its distance. Oh, is it a oh it has cubs. That's not good. Okay, keep on growling at it, see if you can get scared off. Its flight my meter is currently higher than its fight meter. But it's a very timid balance. I think growling out is working. It's starting to move off. Looks like he's gonna be in the carcass. Or she, I suppose. Of course, the carcass is gone. Of course it is. So I think it is. There's a cow moose carcass, too. Nah, it's just dandy. I guess I could finish it off while I was trying to growl at it. Great! <laughs> now let's search. Uh oh. Yikes, okay. I'm just gonna grab this rabbit and go. Head out of the territory before I start eating it. There we go. And now to find some place to rest because he's terribly sleepy. I think he's gonna rest somewhere over here. He's starting to get hungry, but um, those snowshoe hairs have been doing him for good, so hopefully he'll heal up a bit. And to sleep he goes. And I think that's just about the end of the episode, so I'll see you guys another time. Bye bye